Hello friends, you all are welcome to uh, our next chapter that is uniform cost search. So previously we have discussed different kind of search, basically uninformed search till yet. And out of them, we can say that uniform cost search is one of the best searching algorithms if we are not using heuristics, right? It's basically have some costs and it is having some priority queue, basically one priority queue. And according to the specific weights of uh, the path, it selects the best path among them. So let's see how uniform cost search works. Uh, just look at this specific diagram you are having. We have the root node S from here and we are just trying to find out where the goal is. G is basically stands for the goal node. So how the algorithm works, it basically inserts the root in the queue first. Okay, as you can see here, initially S is the root and its path cost is zero in this case. So root will be inserted in the queue. We will make a loop while queue is not empty. So in this case, queue is having the root node as it is not empty. So it will enter inside this loop. Then we will dequeue the maximum priority element from the queue. Okay, so in that case, currently we have uh, S only there. So S will be dequeued from this one. And what will happen if the path is ending with a goal state? S is the root node, it is not the goal state. So what it will do, it will move to the else part. In the else part, it will insert all the children's of the dequeued element. So our dequeued element is S, so its children's are A and G. A is having path cost 1, G is having path cost 12. So they will be inserted into the queue. So now, after first iteration, what our queue is like, S A with path cost 1 and S G with path cost 12. Okay, it is inserted in the queue. This is basically the priority queue. After that, what we will do again, this loop will continue because queue is not empty yet. It is having two elements. So it will pick up maximum priority element that is A in this case. A is having the maximum priority. So it will be picked accordingly. Now when A will be picked, what is happening? Its children's are, because it is not goal, its children's are B and C. So if you will see this path S, A, B, that is having path cost 4. And if you see S, A, C, it is having path cost 2. So S, A, C with path cost 2 is here. S, A, B with path cost 4 here and S, G, 12 with path cost uh, 12 is being inside the uh, queue. Now what again, we will choose the uh, best priority, the maximum priority element that is 2 in this case. Okay, so that is S, A, C. Look here, S, A, C. Now we will check if C is goal. No, C is not goal. Then what will happen? We will just uh, insert, uh, find it out the children node of this C that is D and G. So if we check the path cost of D, that is 1, 1, 1, that is 3. And in this case, 1, 1, and 2, that is 4. So S, A, C, G is having path cost 4. And S, A, C, D is having path cost 3. So S, A, C, D is being inserted here. And S, A, C, G is inserted here because what we are seeing, if priorities are same, then alphabetically smaller path is chosen. So as the priorities are same here, S, A, B is having 4 and S, A, C, G is having 4. So smaller path is being chosen, that is S, A, B will be inserted first and then S, A, C, G will be inserted. After that, this T will be picked. This D is picked. It is having one child, that is G. So that will be inserted over here. But the path cost now is 3 plus 1, 4 plus 1, 5 plus 1, 6. So S, A, C, D, G, that is having path cost 6. That will be inserted according to the priority at this place. Now we have S, A, B, that is having the least, that is having the maximum priority. So S, A, B is this one. After that, we will insert D. So D is having 3 plus 3, 6 plus 1, 7. So S, A, B, D, that you will see is being inserted here, S, A, B, D with 7 priority. And these are having some other maximum priorities of that one. So S, A, C, G with 4 priority, S, A, C, D, G with 6 priority, S, A, B, D with 7 priority, and S, G with 12 priority. And now this G is the goal that we want to search for. So now we reached to the goal through S, A, C, G. S a C G. So this is the specific path that it will that it will search to find out the specific goal. So see how uniform path cost is working. This is the basic criteria how it works. The key points about uniform cost search is that at any point, any given point in the execution, the algorithm never expands a node which has cost greater than the cost of shortest path in the graph. So every time we check uh, what is the path of uh, what is the cost of the path basically that we are going to expand. So it will never expand a node that is having a cost greater than the cost of shortest path in the graph. 
So this is the benefit of this one. Second, the element in the priority queue have almost the same cost at a given time. That's why we call it uniform cost search. All the elements in the priority are almost having the same cost at a given time. So that's why we are saying that it is having a uniform cost search. And next, when we are talking about uniform cost search is best algorithm, as we have discussed earlier, if we do not have heuristics, if we are not using heuristics, in that case, uniform cost search is basically the best algorithm, guys. So this is enough for this video lecture. In next video lecture, we will discuss best first search. That is a kind of informed search strategy. So guys, till then, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.